Terrorists, drug lords, who can fight them? The humble honeybee, weapon of choice, a phenomenal sense of smell. Bees use that sense of smell to find flowers to feed on, but it can be useful for us too. In fact, bees can be trained to sniff out drugs and explosives. But how do you train a bee? Bees like sugar, and if they sense it, they stick out their tongues. I bet most of you didn't know that bees have tongues, but they do. Now, if you feed the bees sugar and at the same time present them with a scent of explosives, they quickly learn to make a connection between the two. And so if they smell explosives, they stick out their tongues. It takes our bee recruits as little as six seconds to make that connection. OK, so now we have bees that poke their tongues out when they smell illegal substances. But it's not exactly convenient to look out for the tongues of each individual bee. What we do instead is we immobilize our bee in a teeny box with a ray of infrared light underneath its mouth parts. So when the tongue is extended, the beam is broken and a response is registered electronically, so we can see it on a computer screen. Now, imagine an army of 40 or so sniffer bees, some trained for uh, recognizing cocaine, some for heroin, some for Semtex, etc. If we present them with cargo, uh, and the ones trained for Semtex would uh, stick out their tongues, that means that we will have explosives uh, transported in that cargo. Now, because bees are fast learners, and because they're cheap to maintain, uh, we can actually train an entire squadron at the same time. So it doesn't matter if one bee is having a bad day, because there are still others that will produce a reliable result. That would not be possible with sniffer dogs, who are costly, quite slow learners, and actually their smell, uh, sense of smell is a bit weaker than that of the honeybee. Now, if you're concerned about bee welfare, rest assured, we don't want to hurt our bees. Um, the, the boxes that they sit in are actually mimicking the shape of the honeycomb. And after two days military service, our bees return to a civilian hive where they can focus on what they do best, pollinating. And that is super important for our crop production, especially since bee populations have now been declining. So when you next see a bee, remember to show some respect. They're here to serve and to protect.